to the graphic nature of this program, listener discretion is advised. This episode of Bootleg Shit marks the second episode that I review a game that postdates the debut of the series. The first one being Angry Birds for the Famicom. Today's episode is a game based on the 2008 film Iron Man. Yes, people, there is a game based on the very first Marvel Cinematic Universe film. And with the 10th anniversary of this film coming up and Avengers Infinity War out now in theaters, now would be the perfect time to tackle this game. This is Iron Man for the Sega Mega Drive. This game was developed and published by some Russian company who apparently has no name. Yeah. We don't know who made this game or who published it. All we know is that it came from Russia. So anyway, how bad is this game? Well, let's find out. So here we are at the title screen with Iron Man flying. Looks kind of promising, right? Think you can fly in this game? Ha! Think again! You never fly in this game! Yup! Despite him clearly flying in the intro, he doesn't fly at all in this game. Talk about false advertising! And by the way, that song in the background? It sounds very familiar. This song is not from song. Some other game. This is my song. You can sue me. I'm not infringing copyright. What do you think I am? Some plagiarist. I wrote the song. You can't be wrong. So take me to court. I will win. I will win. I will win. Yeah, it's just like the Dragon Ball Z games on the Super Nintendo and Game Boy Color. Blatantly stolen music. And they didn't just steal music from Star Fox. No, no. One of the songs is actually stolen from the Japan exclusive Game Boy game, Volley Fire. do you have to go to steal music from a Japanese exclusive? Like, do you really think you can fool people like that? And they sped up the music on top of that. I'm pretty sure there are other songs in the game that are also stolen, but I'm not sure which ones they stole from. Remember in the Iron Man movie where he was in some kind of factory where he fought guns and these radioactive suit guys throughout the entirety of the film? Yeah! Me neither! Aside from Iron Man himself, nothing in this game is based on anything from the Iron Man movies or even the comics. Like, what is he even doing here? I guess the Russian text in the beginning sort of explains the plot, but still, this doesn't remind me of Iron Man at all. Not only that, it doesn't look very appealing. In fact, it looks more like an average platformer. And if you think it gets better as you progress throughout the game, <laughs> well, I got some bad news for you. You do the exact same thing over and over again. Yeah. How boring can this game get? The only slight change of the game later on is that you fight outside on rooftops and wooden boxes, but that's literally it. Yeah. Literally it! You know who these guys remind me of? Darth Vader. And by that I mean Back to the Future Darth Vader. 
you know, the extraterrestrial from the planet Vulcan. Well, anyway, enough about that. How are the controls? Overall, they're very responsive, and while Iron Man doesn't fly, he does have this sort of rocket jump. However, at the same time, it also feels kinda stiff, and this can be problematic at times. Like when you're trying to avoid getting hit by the guns. I mean, look at this part. There's all these guns shooting at once. Like, how the hell am I supposed to get past this part with how stiff the jumping feels? And look at this. Two guns shooting at each other at the same time. Gonna be fun trying to jump over that, huh? In terms of attacks, all he does is shoot this tiny ass, weak ass missile. And killing enemies takes fucking forever. So when you're trying to get past the point where there's too many guns, you gotta get rid of them in the most tedious way possible. Shoot, jump carefully to avoid getting hit. Shoot, jump carefully to avoid getting hit. Shoot, jump carefully to avoid getting hit and keep going on and on until you finally get rid of all the guns. You only have one heart, and when you get hit, you lose half of it. Get hit twice, and you start over at the checkpoint. It's kind of like Zelda, except instead of gaining more hearts later on, you're stuck with only one heart. This makes it an even bigger problem trying to avoid getting hit by the guns. Wait, what? Also, you can collect gears. Collect enough of them and you gain an extra life. Yay, how original. Oh, and aside from the title screen, this game has no parallax scrolling whatsoever. So it's kind of like playing an old DOS or Commodore 64 game. The graphics are fine, it's pretty much what you would expect from a bootleg 16-bit game, and like I said earlier, it looks like an average indie game or something. And, well, Iron Man looks like Iron Man, albeit in chibi form, but still. And the music, while lifted from other games, sounds pretty good. I mean, just listen to this track. Now that sounds badass. You know, this game really isn't half bad. I mean, sure, it has obvious flaws and it has fuck all to do with the source material, but for what it is, it's fine. I mean, I've played far worse bootlegs than this. I wouldn't call it a good game, but I wouldn't call it a terrible game either. Wait. That's it? That's it? No boss battle? No ending? It just stops? No Iron Monger? No War Machine? Nobody from the movies or comics? Nothing? It just. That's it? Oh, come on. Now that is just iron bullshit! All in all, this is a very mediocre game with plagiarized music and a complete waste of time. And now for the final verdict. The jury has found the Russian Iron Man developers guilty for making a bland game with plagiarized music and a very disappointing ending. And shame on them too because they came from the homeland of one of the greatest games of all time, Tetris. Since these people like mediocrity and blandness, I'm gonna give them just that. For 5 whole years, actually 10 whole years, you will be stuck in an empty void of nothingness. No interaction with people, nothing fun to do, just nothing. It will be just like purgatory but without dying of course. You give empty promises, I'll give you emptiness back. Now even though this month is Avengers month, I've only reviewed one Marvel superhero bootleg so far. There are a few more bootlegs based on another Marvel superhero, but I'll save that one for later. Until then, I'm AliRx, and I'll see you on the other side. If you like this video and want to see more, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to get immediately notified on the latest videos. If you like my content and want to support me, you can donate to my Patreon for just $1 a month. 
Go to patreon.com forward slash AliRx or search AliRx on the Patreon app for mobile devices. If you prefer a one-time donation, you can donate to my PayPal at paypal.me forward slash AliRx or send to AliRx at gmail.com on the PayPal app for mobile devices. There, you can donate any amount, even a penny. Links are in the description.